Welcome everyone to the ADP Center for Learning Technologies short series on Chrome extensions in Google Slide presentations. So the first step in this process is opening a Google Slides project. So we're just going to select one of ours. And looking at the top toolbar, you will see a dropdown titled Extensions. By clicking the extension, option. Uh, Add-ons is one of the offered options. So clicking that will then prompt get add-ons or manage add-ons. For new users who do not have any add-ons, when you click get add-ons, it will take you to a Google Workspace Marketplace. For this example, we'll be using Slido for Google Slides, as well as Pear Deck. So once you've installed those, if you go back to the Extensions tab and click, uh, you will see the extensions that you've downloaded below. So for this demonstration, we'll use Pear Deck and Slido. So hovering over the extension that you'd like to use, you'll either be prompted with an option that says open the add-on or open the sidebar. So to start, we'll start with Slido. So when opening the sidebar of the extension, and it is notable that some of these extensions may pull you to external platforms that require you to make an account with them. Luckily for these accounts, uh, you can use your Google, uh, your Gmail account for Slido or for Pear Deck. So these are the tool, the ones that have crowns are for the premium version of this tool. These tools, quiz, joining slide, attendance Q or audience Q&A, these are options that come with the free version of Slido. So in clicking this, it'll prompt you with uh, a question that you can ask. So what would you like to ask? We could say, what color is the sky? Is it orange? Is it green or is it blue? So once you've created your, your questions, you can then add it to the presentation and you'll see it appear in the form of a slide. Once you'd like to present this and use an interactive form of the question, you will click present with Slido. And so once you've signed in using your Google account, it will then link over the information that you have used for Slido and provide a joining link and QR code and code to join the quiz for viewers. And then as they answer, it will show the live responses as well as the correct answer. So this is Slido. The next app that we're going to look, or extension that we're going to look at, is Pear Deck. So going back to the Extensions tab at the top of our user display, you'll click Extensions and then hover over Pear Deck and click Open Pear Deck Add-on. Pear Deck functions in a similar way in that you can choose options that are not in the premium version such as choice, number, text, website. So if you click choice, as an example, uh, it will give you options for you to choose from. So you could choose blue, green, or orange. And so this creates an interactive question for people to uh, be engaged with your, your presentation through. Okay, and so you see that it adds one of the options to the bottom of your presentation. So by clicking Start Lesson, it will launch Pear Deck in a separate platform through the Pear Deck platform, whether it's a student-paced activity or an instructor-paced activity, uh, depending your delivery method. For this, we'll choose the instructor-paced activity. 
and it'll prompt you then with a code where you can join in a website so that you can engage in the interactive aspects of this extension. So the purpose of showing these extensions and the uh, interfunctionality with Google Slides is to show that there is a broad number of different add-ons that you can use in Google Slides to further convey your message or in, invite your viewers or readers into the material that you're trying to convey. There are a number of dynamic and wonderful Chrome extensions that one can use, and it is notable that if you are using a account through a private organization, uh, that there may be some administrative um, safeguards that have been in place and dictate some of the extensions that you can download. Now, if you do have any further or individualized questions, please always feel free to set up an appointment at adpcenter.org and going to schedule an appointment where you can book an appointment with myself or one of our team members. That or you can email us at adpcenter at montclair.edu any of your questions and we look forward to having you at one of our future workshops. Thank you for attending.